is just in. All the gossip. gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Well, on a recent episode of Netflix's Selling Sunset, Jason Oppenheim talks about uh, revealing what a client once said about a home that Kanye West had lived in. And he said he didn't let the potential buyer know whose home it was. You God. showed him Kanye West's house, right? That was him. This is funny because we're not only did I show him Kanye's house, we're, we get into escrow on Kanye's house. We couldn't, we didn't say who it was. He, Jeff invited his mom, and his mom, not knowing whose house it was, says, it looks like a lonely narcissist lives here. Ah! And Jeff canceled the <laughs> oh escrow. God, I love, well, I love there was my mother in law. Of Kanye, like as Jesus on the ceiling, like pointing. The, the shower was like a like a goldfish tank. It was. Yeah, so. Is that a selling point for people when you're like, oh, such and such used to live here? Well, maybe not in this for case. S- for some people, I think it is. Mm. But sometimes uh, they have, uh, sometimes these real estate um, agents are told not to say whose house it is. A lot of times people don't want you to know. Because I know I went to go look at a house and it was like strict confidentiality on whose home it was that they were selling. Sometimes you could find out, though. Anyway, I found out whose house it was. But, whose house was it? Uh, Kerry Washington. Okay. So you just broke the confidence. <laughs> no, she didn't tell me. You could oh, Google oh. it and find out. That's how I found out. Oh. Yeah. So, but she never told us. She had a confidentiality with her, and then I later found out. You know, that's who owned the home, and I don't know if it was a flip for her or what her plans were for it. But yes. Mm. But if, if there was a painting of Kanye as Jesus, I think people would know. Yeah. <laughs> On the ceiling. On the ceiling. In the bedroom. In the bedroom. Yeah. Kind of weird. All right. Now, Future has revealed what his title and cover art for his new album is going to be, I Never Liked You. I love it. <laughs> uh, and then he's sitting in the backseat of the car with a, a eye mask on. I love that title. I Never Liked I love You. That t- yeah, you know, a salute to Dr. Rita Walker. She literally just posted this morning on Instagram, stop trying to be liked by everybody. You don't even like everybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not liking people is a form of self-care. Why do we got a front? All right, well, I Never Liked You is coming out on Friday, by the way, with guest appearances by Kanye West, Drake, Gunna, and more. That sounds like it is the levels of toxic on that album over them fire beats going to be phenomenal. All right, and Gia and DJ Envy, a.k.a. Rashawn, when Gia's around, uh, they did their press run, continued on yesterday, and you guys were on Tamron Hall. And here is Gia talking about the breakthrough in their marriage. Gia, what do you see as the breakthrough moment? When I was sitting in front of Tyrese and I said, you don't know Rashawn, you don't know me. You don't even know if this relationship was worth saving. But you put yourself out of the way. Why? Why? And when his words matched Rashid's words, it was so strong and powerful in that moment, I put my hands up and I began to tear. And I'm not a big crier. And I said, okay. I turned to him and I said, I forgive you. I don't know what that looks like. And I said, I will work on this, whatever God has intended for us. I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't know how it's going to go, but I will work on it until. I don't like Tyrese getting all this credit for saving your relationship. Why? Simply, simply because it's Tyrese. But you, <laughs> but, you, but you never know who God is going to use. You never know who God's going to so save. So I'm not going to question it. Mm-hmm. All right. In addition, you guys were on with Trevor Noah. Last night, yep. Mm-hmm. And here's what Gia had to say about this cheating. Rashawn didn't cheat on me. He cheated on himself. Oh! And a lot of women don't look at the situation that way when they're cheated on, and some men. But for me, it was very important to write the book because I want women to understand that men cheat, and it doesn't necessarily have to be because of you. It is because of them. So I I didn't feel embarrassment. I own me, and I have to decide how I'm going to move forward with my head held high. It's very important for women to understand that. Look at me, King. Mm -hmm. You didn't cheat on me, you cheated on yourself. That is a bar. Yeah. Okay? And she's absolutely right. She is. But she is. Since, since I didn't cheat it on you, I cheated on myself. I forgive me. What's for dinner? <laughs> <I> forgive me. <laughs> All right. You, go, you better see, not laugh. Y'all gonna see Gia on some television, boy. Gia is. Whoo, she, you didn't she's cheat on me. You cheated on yourself. So who should I be apologizing to? Mm. That's real though, because when you cheat on a great woman, you're really hurting yourself more than you're hurting her. You can't call yourself a real anything if you're lying to the person that you Absolutely. call your best friend, the person you spend more time with than anyone, the mother of your children. If you're mm-hmm. lying to her, you ain't real at all. So yes, you are really just cheating on yourself. Absolutely. God damn, that hurt me. It did. Every time Gia talk, I want to apologize to my wife, and I've been out here clean for six years. 
<laughs> All right, well, here is what else um, Envy had to say on Trevor Noah last night. I don't want to hear from him. <laughs> was there not a part of you that was worried that the DJ Envy would now basically be, be you know, losing himself to, to tell the no, truth? I, I think these are the conversations we need to have. If you think about it, we can go to the barbershop and we talk about our favorite NBA player. We can uh -huh. talk about our favorite sneakers, our favorite music. But sometimes things that are important we need to discuss as well, and that is relationships. I wish I had somebody at the barbershop and say, hey, look, my wife is, me and her arguing about this. Right. Am I right? Is she right? What do I do? You know, how do we solve this conversation? Because at the end of the day, we're on the same team. Right. If we're arguing, we shouldn't be arguing to, I shouldn't be trying to annihilate her. She shouldn't be trying to destroy me in an argument. We should be trying to get to an understanding where we can both understand. Now, I think those conversations were happening in the barbershop for a long time. The problem was all of us were doing a lot of the same things. And I think a lot of those conversations are still happening in the barbershop now. It's just that a lot of brothers are doing the work on themselves. A lot of brothers are healing themselves to show up to be the best, you know, men that we can for our women. So those conversations have evolved a lot. They have evolved a lot. Yes. And they're starting to evolve even more. But, you know, some conversations like, you know, the orgasm thing. You can't go to the barbershop and say, mm -hmm. like, hey, fellas, this, that, and the other. Yes, you can. All right, Charlamagne, can I? You in the barbershop, Charlamagne. We've had this conversation before. I'm going to show you some Recently. video of but men before. in the barbershop. We've been having this conversation what? up here for years. About what? <laughs> Me not orgasming. Orgasm. You know what? Forget you. you. All right. What that you is your mean? rumor report. I hate you. What are you talking you about? You don't take things serious, man. What I be trying to be serious. About? You don't take me serious. I am being That's serious. That's your problem. I am being no, serious. No, you don't take me serious. We ha Listen, we've been having this conversation, King. Okay? Let me come over and I'm going to smudge you. No. <laughs> what are you, you going to do? This what? relationship that we have is over. Whatever you want to call it. All right, guys. We'll That's your rumor report. Get ready for the this People's Choice Mix. When you, whoa. <laughs> over. <laughs> when you sign this don't play gay bill, it'll be over. What do you want to hear? People's Choice Mix is up next. 800-585-1051 is the Breakfast Club. Good morning.